If you're looking for a laptop on a tight budget for work or for college, we've got you covered. This is the Mechanic Mac Creator A. Now, if you haven't heard of Machinike, they've been making gaming laptops for quite a while now, as well as peripherals like keyboard and mouse over on platforms like Shopee and Lazada. This is their more mainstream productivity laptop that can cost you a little under or over 2000 ringgit. That's pretty cheap for an Intel Core i3 10th gen processor, 16 gigs of RAM and 512 GB of storage, as well as having pretty great build quality. But before we talk about all of that, let's get started with the unboxing. The packaging of the laptop has the Mac Creator printed up front. Getting into the box, you'll find another box which has all the info about the model number printed on there. Opening that up, you get the laptop nicely packaged in there along with the paperwork, multi-region plug types, and the power brick for charging. With that out of the way, let's get started with the build quality and the design on this. The design of this is actually quite pleasing. You've got the logo dead center at the back of the laptop and it has a more silver to black accent throughout the laptop, meaning the bottom of it is completely black, the keyboard is black, and then there's silver going all around. Up front, you get a webcam, which is actually pretty great in this day and age for video conferencing or any video calls of that sort. Um, the quality of this is actually quite good, uh, more than I expected it to be. The variant that we got to review is the 15.6 inch so that's a 15 inch laptop, which I think is the perfect size for most everyday use. Overall, I'd say it has a very modern stylish look, which isn't very common at this price range. Speaking of stuff that isn't common at this price range, the build quality. The entire chassis is built with aluminum, unlike other laptops within this price range that are built with plastic. All in all, I'd say the build and design is very modern and sleek and overall pretty pleasing. At the bottom of the laptop, you can actually see through to see the internals. You've got the vents down there as well, as well as two tiny speakers left and right. Lastly, we've got the hinge. So this laptop can be rotated all the way to 180 degrees. So it's great for different viewing angles or if you like to stand up while using your laptop. So it's, it's pretty convenient and gets you the full 180 degrees. Moving on to the IO ports on this laptop. There's actually a lot to go around. On the right side of the laptop, you've got a USB type C 3.1 port, a USB type A 3.1 port, HDMI and the barrel charging port. On the left side, you've got the ethernet port, micro SD card slot, two USB type A 2.0s. There's also a SIM card slot in case you wanna add on cellular for this. It doesn't come built in, but if you wanna customize it to have cellular, there's a SIM card slot there as well. Lastly, you also have the 3.5 mm audio jack. Now let's move on to the display on here, which is actually quite impressive. The display on this is a 15.6 inch IPS full HD 60 Hertz matte display. It's a standard 8-bit panel, which is pretty decent for watching movies, videos, and of course, working on. The brightness is fairly good for most indoor situations. Even with these bright lights on, I was clearly able to see the display with no issues. You also get pretty good viewing angles. So what you see from front, you'll pretty much get from the left and right. There isn't any fall off or washed out images going left or right. Uh, but speaking of washed out images, the colors and the contrast can be slightly washed out compared to other laptops. But honestly, I'd rather have that than have oversaturated, over contrast display, which is more distracting to me. Now, obviously, this isn't the kind of display you'd use for like color grading or video editing or picture editing and stuff. But for most everyday work or watching movies or consuming content on, you would be pretty satisfied with it. Now, moving on to the keyboard and the trackpad on this. The laptop's keyboard feels well, all right. It's not the best I've tried, neither is it the worst. The keys feel a little bit mushy and there's a little bit of a flex to it when you push down on the keyboard. Again, for most people within productivity or uh, use case, everyday work kind of thing, you won't really have that much of an issue with this. The trackpad on the other hand is quite nice as well. It's a lot bigger than I expected it to be and that's very nice. So you don't need to carry an external mouse everywhere you go. Machinac was actually kind enough to send us their own mouse as well to use with this, which is what I use for majority of the testing. But yeah, the trackpad is pretty good as well. Under the hood, the processor running this laptop is the Intel Core i3 1011U processor. Uh, it's a dual core four thread processor that's actually pretty great for office work already. And it comes with 16 gigs of RAM and 512 GB of SSD. That's actually really great 
considering the price. If you get the 8 gig RAM with 256 GB of storage, it'll cost you just under 2000 ringgit. But the one that we got is the 16 gigs of RAM, 512 GB SSD. It's slightly over 2000 ringgit and still super worth it. Now, obviously I wouldn't go around editing videos on this or photos on this or the day-to-day -day work that I as a content creator do. Uh, but for most everyday productivity work, you won't have any issues whatsoever. In my testing, I use the most traditional productivity applications. Uh, I was doing a lot of Excel work, a lot of documents, PowerPoint, all that kind of stuff. And I had no issues whatsoever. Like I said, for productivity, it's really, really great. Now, when it comes to the sound quality, this is somewhere where I feel like the laptop was a little bit lacking because the speaker system, like I talked about earlier, is quite small underneath. The sound coming out of it wasn't as full as I was hoping for. It, it really lacks when it comes to bass and the sound can be a little bit tinny at higher volumes and even the max volume isn't that quite high. But again, for the price point, you can't really complain that much. The battery on here is a 35 watt hour battery, which isn't the biggest we've seen. It'll give you roughly five to six hours of screen on time with the usage that you would do with a productivity laptop, which is roughly about a full working day, I guess. Uh, pretty decent, I guess, battery life for the given price point as well. You get pretty good build quality and design, and it looks very fresh and refreshing compared to the other laptops that you see within this price range. It's not as dull and boring. So overall, I would recommend this laptop for the given price range. Definitely check it out. All the links are gonna be in the description below. If you guys have any questions as well, do let us know down in the comments. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, a like would be appreciated. Consider subscribing to the channel for more content just like this and we'll see you again in the next video. Until then, 